Hi, it's Natasha. And Khalil. And we are the co-hosts of Woke and Free. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in to our 208th episode of Woke and Free. If you've been tuning in every week for Woke and Free Wednesday, you know that Woke and Free is all about being real and honest with each other and you. We talk about everything and anything important to us, you, the world, and nothing is off the table. This week, we're discussing whether holistic medicine is effective. Before we dive deep, a couple of things to go over. Have you downloaded the episode on WokenFree.com through the Podbean app? If not, please do because that's how you show your best support for the show as well as how you join the conversation. With the app, you can add your comments. We want to hear what your experience has been with holistic medicine just as much as you want to share it. So make sure you do that. Now, of course, if you cannot download the app, what we ask is that you go to WokenFree.com, go on the Listen tab, and then pick your platform of where you're going to follow and subscribe to the show at. So, for instance, iTunes or TuneIn or Stitcher or Google Play, YouTube channel, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Pandora. It's a Woken Free world, guys. So make sure you are following and subscribing to the show just in case you don't get the new the Podbean app. Now, of course, you can also go to WokenFree.com to subscribe to the podcast via email. What's really cool about that, you'll get email notifications about the new episodes, and they're super easy to forward to your friends and family. Let's get everybody woken free. Now, on social media, always find, you know, the time to holler at us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, LinkedIn, at Woken Free. And then if you have 90 seconds and you can review the show, we'd love to hear you. So review the show on any platform where you can review shows at WokenFree.com. Listen tab. I'm going to kick it to you. Cool. All right. Well, you know, before we start the conversation, we like to share a little bit about ourselves. Last time we asked, would you rather learn how to fly a helicopter or learn how to fly a plane? This week we're asking, would you rather play strip poker with strangers or truth or dare with your enemies? That's a very bizarre question. Uh, I guess I would say... You know, the kindness of strangers will always surprise you. So I'm going to go with strip poker with strangers because there's less to lose there because you don't know them versus enemies. A, now these people have been identified as your enemies, which you may or may not have already known, which is going to be emotionally triggering for some people. And then if they're your enemies, do you really want to do anything uh, embarrassing or vulnerable in front of them? Probably not. So I would try my luck with strangers. Okay. I mean, for me... I'm definitely gonna. Oh, so you're gonna try your luck with strangers? Yeah, I would do the the strip poker with strangers because I it's what's to lose. I don't really know them, and oh, all right, you, know. you have not messed with the enemies. Okay, yeah. so for me, mm-hmm. I definitely would go with the truth or dare with the enemies because mm-hmm. the problem is, is if I'm with the strangers and I'm playing strip poker, they're gonna have to pay me mega bucks to strip. So it's not even worth it for them. They're not gonna do that. Like, so I, I have like, to go with the enemies. Like Ten pesos, eh? Oh, 10 trillion, trillion pesos? No, wow, that's pesos. a lot. Yeah, 10. Times trillion, trillion? No, just 10. A whole, <laughs> a whole, like, ton of them. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Yeah. I'm too expensive is the problem, so I know that I just would go According with, to you, I guess, yeah. It's not according to you. valued me at that. You showed me. You said, what is your I... value of stripping? And I said, okay. That's what I'll go Do for. Do not recall this fabrication oh, okay. that it's, you're referring to. It's, it may be a fabrication that was passed to me from like beyond the grave or something, but either way, I got that when somehow. When you killed me yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, excellent. Excellent response. Yeah, because excellent that, retort. That's from I mean, the grave. Exactly, because often things do come from the grave. So like, I valued you from the grave, and I'm currently alive. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. No, I'm, I'm, told, what, I'm, you know, I'm talking multiverse about multiverse. You're coming from and or referring I'm talking to about you. your your zombie version uh, has told me that in at least. the multiverse. <laughs> No, not in the multiverse. In this verse, they they popped in as a virtual version of you, and they were a zombie. I think you should. Your virtual version popped in. Life. No, virtual Natasha popped me in, and I popped oh, in. Jesus Christ! <laughs> she popped in the virtual version I think of you. you. Refer to, be careful about the words you're referring to. Popping, and it's getting weird. Yeah, but that's things do pop into the universe virtually. I'm not even making that up. That's quantum mechanics. You can look that up. I I'm think not you lying. should approach your. Transition I'm not lying on that. Statement and see how horrible. <laughs> Why do you think that's a transition? Thing, yeah. You don't think this is part of the transition because things pop in all the time. Do like medicines pop in all the time? Mm-hmm. Like different sort of ways to fix things. We find out new equations. We find out new sciences. We do experimentations. We do a lot of Correct. stuff. What's your question? <laughs> 
No, my question is, should we go with like the sciences that we know, or should we actually look to the holistic medicine and see if those are more effective? Gotcha. Thanks for getting there. Okay, so <laughs> exactly. according to WebMD, holistic medicine, just so we're all on the same page, guys, is a form of healing that considers the whole person. So body, mind, spirit, and emotions in quest in the quest for optimal health and wellness. According to the holistic medicine philosophy, one can achieve optimal health, the primary goal of holistic pra- medicine practice, by gaining proper balance in life. Holistic medicine practitioners believe that the whole person is made up of in- interdependent parts, and if one part is not working properly, all the other parts will be affected. And this way, if people have imbalances, physical, emotional, or spiritual, in their lives, it can negatively affect their overall health, which to me makes sense. Uh, so... Additionally, they added some things that I thought were really cool to mention. Principles of holistic medicine include that all people have innate healing powers. The patient is a person, not a disease. That's really powerful there. Healing uh, uh, takes a team approach involving the patient, the doctor, and addresses all aspects of a person's life using a variety of healthcare practices. And treatment involves fixing the cause of the condition, not just alleviating the symptoms. Also super powerful statement right there. And uh, the site goes on to talk about the different types of treatments that are available. But to answer the question of, you know, is holistic medicine effective? I would say if you think about some of the principles that I mentioned and, you know, like logically, if one part of your body is not feeling well, does that Im- imply or could you infer that other parts of your body or other parts of your existence could not feel well? I think that to me, it seems logical uh, because it's connect. Your body isn't nothing siloed. Everything's connective, right? Connective tissue, connective organs, all of that good stuff. So I would say, yes, I think it is effective. And I think that is it always going to be the better option to Western or traditional medicine? Not necessarily, but I always think it should be considered in a treatment plan. So I think you could have a more clinical approach to something and then a holistic approach and then give both options to the patient. And maybe it's one or the other or a combo. All right. So, yeah, I just go to... 360 or 180 on this because I say Mm -hmm. holistic medicine is ineffective and I only say that because the data hasn't shown that holistic medicine is more effective than modern medicine okay so I I mean you can do all the stuff and you can have that fun I don't I don't think it does much what I but I do believe in what we've talked about and we have our course on and and that's the secret and and even doctors have reported on it what you believe to cure you may mm-hmm. actually cure you. So yeah. if your mind believes that something is having an effect, yeah. it will have an effect. So what I think is happening with a lot of this holistic oh, medicine is right. people are told, because you know what I would want to do? All right, give holistic medicine, but don't tell any of the healing properties that it has. Okay. Like n- that never happens. Literally, when anybody's taking holistic medicine, whoever is administering that medicine, they yeah. tell you what it will do for you. Yeah. And you believe and that it will do. They don't that, just yeah. give you this and say, hey, see what happens. You yeah. know, that never, because if they did that, I bet you nothing would happen. And they'd be like, oh, that didn't do anything for me. But when they tell you this will cure you, there's a mental, and you impact. really believe, and gotcha. then they and then they go far beyond and say, hey, you know, like thirty people were cured by this. So okay. if you do this, it'll happen to you too. Then you're going to get in your mind that you'll be healed, and it'll happen. But to me, holistic medicine is just kind of like it's it's almost like what is that like mind warping or yeah, like hypnosis like the kind of thing. Effect of things. Like yeah, if you think it's going to do something, then it will. But not yeah, I, I don't know holistic medicine if it's a real mm-hmm. if it actually cures people and stuff. I I can't say that I okay. I follow that prescription. And we got to ask then what has been specifically your experience with holistic medicine? Okay, so yeah, my mom was an OR technician uh, in labor and delivery. And, uh, and Beth Israel Hospital for many, many years growing up. So I spent many, many years in a hospital, uh, visiting her while she worked. Uh, I have seen her firsthand give me kind of holistic treatments when it came to treating my own ailments. Thankfully, I was not necessarily super sickly as a kid, but for any of the time, anytime I did get like a cold or, or was congested or things like that, my mom definitely like tapped into the non-traditional way of healing me, meaning I would get, and this is super gross guys, but it's just, you know, that was my life. You get like a teaspoon of honey and you cut up like fresh garlic and you 
down that together, which is maybe the most disgusting thing she'll ever eat or mm, taste. Tasty. But uh, it definitely, for me, felt like it totally opened up sinuses. Also, like, gargling with uh, warm salt water. Uh, and then, of course, and a lot of Caribbean and, and Latin... <laughs> Folks, I think, refer to the Latin, uh, the, this focus of, uh, uh, what is it called? Vix in like getting pretty much like a bath in it or like a soaking in it where you like rub it all over your chest and rub it all over your face and your nose. And to some people, they may or may not agree that they're, that Vix does anything, but, uh, those are just like some non-traditional things that, uh, my, my mom did. And like, of course, you can't forget chicken soup. And, uh, you know, the healing properties that it may or may not have, but <laughs> things like that. So I would say probably to your point, uh, because I mentally believe that holistic medicine or non-traditional medicine can be effective. It has been effective in my own life. Now, whether I could have been treated more clinically and, and gotten the same results, I don't discount it, but that is where I stand with that. All right, that's a good point because I had opposite experience. The only thing I'd say, I mean, I've had chicken soup and I've gargled mm-hmm. with salt water. I haven't done all that Vicks stuff. But mm-hmm. The thing I did like doing is that when I was getting a cold, I like having ginger tea. That kind of like helped soothe my throat. But okay. I never relied on any type of holistic medicines for getting better. I did. I think I just like dealt with it, and I said, "Hey, my immune system is here for a reason. I've evolved from." My ancestors, they've given me this power so I can fight off the sickness, and that's what I've used to do it. I haven't used these special herbs or whatever okay. stuff and mixes to get better. I just rely off my immune system. It does its job. That, that, and that's just, you know, that's my so personal your experience. Personal experience is that you feel you're genetically superior. No, definitely <laughs> not, because if I was, I wouldn't get sick. Then, yeah, I would never say I'm all just that. Joking. Joking. Yeah, I know. I, I know, I know you're joking, you were, but I'll but yeah, you're I like, put that out there. Um, I don't think like, so. I'm relying on the naturalness of me, and I've been able to get on. By. Yeah, it is, but it's. But I'm not trying to say my naturalness is like all supreme and all okay. knowing. <laughs> it's not the supreme being of everything. It's okay. yeah. It's not that. It's okay. It's I'm not, like I'm not saying I have the best one, but gotcha. I'm just saying people can rely on their healing powers, and they'll be healed if they're supposed to be healed. Gotcha. Right? That's. Okay. It, I mean, I got healed up, and you will too. Right, I mean, hopefully it depends. Every, it depends on every, the sickness, every immune but, but all, all I'll say is, is the, the holistic different. medicine is not like a cure all for everything. That's true, and that's what I remember. I said it could yeah. be clinical, it could be holistic, it could be a combo, right? So, it but either way, depends. any of that stuff, it's not necessarily a cure all for every, every ailment that true. you undergo. Very true. Yeah, I mean, even with like COVID, I've, stuff I've that seen comes up and it doesn't help you. It where people matter. have said that they treated COVID all like holistically and they were able to get better, right? And then we have people who are clinically treated and who, you know, pass, right? They no longer are with us, unfortunately. So uh, it's, well, yeah, I can't speak it's on, really challenging. Yeah. <laughs> I can't speak on that one specifically, but mm-hmm. yeah, just in general, holistic medicines is, it's, I'm very skeptical of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, then what would you say when it comes to holistic medicine tips or best practices, what, what would you say needs to be kept in mind? I mean, I think the natural is best and you should try to like avoid anything that's overly processed that Mm -hmm. claims to provide a holistic help. That's probably not going to work out the best for you. So get stuff that maybe you can grow in the earth. So some sort Mm -hmm. of herbs that you can grow in your backyard. I don't think that's that too bad, but if it's something like this was a processed chemical and Mm -hmm. it was like made to be very supreme and strong then I don't know. You should have, you probably should have do that if it's like purified. Yeah. So when I'm saying that, like we're talking about holistic medicine, but I'm yeah. also including like homeopathic medicines. Oh, okay. Homeopathic is like taking a small amount of these. I mean, technically it's like these process chemical, like, uh, it's like a process sort of, uh, natural things that they grab, but mm-hmm. I, I don't think the homeopathics work either because people have tried that to treat like debilitating diseases such yeah. as cancer and it's not worked out well. So yeah. I would say just watch out for that. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So on Lo- Loyola medicine, I believe there's a uh, kind of an, a breakdown of different things to keep in mind that for me resonated. And so I'd love to share it. So they talk about sleep hygiene. So making sure that you're really trying to get that six, seven or eight hours of sleep a night, which I think is really ambitious depending upon what's going on in your life, whether like you're have a, a newborn or you're starting a business or you're, you know, in a very stressful environment in your life, it can 
be very challenging or you just even struggle with sleeping. That can be very challenging to get that much amount of sleep. Uh, and so there's that to think about. Uh, and then also they talk about mindful eating, which I really loved because I personally, as someone who's all about like mindful and like intention and like intuitive living, I think that you should eat when you're hungry and you should not eat when you're not hungry and that you should pay attention to your body. Your body will tell you when it's hungry. Your body will tell you when it's thirsty. You just have to listen to your body. A lot of people are not in tune with their body and they just eat for eat's sake or they're like, you know, there's a lot of emotions and different things that cloud our judgment and, and get in the way of us being in tune with our mind and our body. And so if you can eliminate those distractions, I think it can really work wonders for your nutritional journey as well as like healing practices even if you have mind. soft donuts waiting to be just crumbled in your mouth and melting. if you're not hungry yeah you shouldn't eat them but the these things are going to melt in your mouth like you put them in it just melts yeah. and you get that sugar rush like the neanderthal that was and some part of our past die from a sugar rush so it, it's just it's challenging it, but if it's in that household that's a rough thing that box thing. of like it's a dozen of them yeah and you can have all of, of the them crispy creams yep okay. <laughs> hey i'm not i didn't mention any days i'm just saying but that's it melts in you your I'm just saying you put these in your they melt in your mouth and you feel like you can have a dozen more and the article goes on to talk about (laughs) (laughs) plant-based dieting which as a meat eater I you know I commend anyone who can go and really eliminate and or limit the amount of animal-based foods that they have in their diet and really focus more on like clean green living if that's what works for you and you can tolerate that and stomach that that's amazing uh (laughs) And it might be really helpful for your healing. It's very yummy. Uh, you know, listen, I like fruits and vegetables. Do I want it 24-7? Definitely not. I like dead flesh, too. Uh, yeah, you know, dead flesh has some merit, but there are some challenges with that dead flesh. Of so. course there is. There's, I mean, there's other <laughs> many issues arise. Exactly. Uh, the article also goes on to talk about taking a time out. What were you going to say? But, you know, people never talk about it, but, like, are we being kind of like, just, are we messing with the plants? Because it's kind of like, you're growing these plants close together. Do they want to be grown close together? Kind of like how they bunch up the chickens in these little cages. Like, I, are the plants getting mad? Like, hey, man, I don't want to be next to you. Like, I want my space. I want to grill, grow out my roots and be nice in my space. I don't know if you're joking or if you're actually asking me a real question. It's a real question. It's kind of like, plants' lives matter. I cannot believe you said that. <laughs> it is... I really hope you don't mean that. I really hope that you are just joking right now. Because it's, it's, uh, that is it's not question, an though. analogy that needs to be it's made a, right It's now. a question, though. I don't Human know. Human life mattering is not to be compared with... But- Planned I, life. You, but you know, it's really funny though. I love that humans do that because like, yeah, we, we feel like, look, we're so supreme, but you know, plants, who cares? They can grow next to each other. They can kill each other off. So who unarmed cares? person no. dies no, from I know. violence and then a sunflower is crushed. They're the same. I, no, a sunflower doesn't get watered for, you know, five weeks. Is that like, are we being cruel to that plant? And is that is cruel it on and unusual the same level of importance? I, I know it, that it's an interesting question because of course we as humans, we're going to be so selfish selfish like of course we're more important than a stupid sunflower you can grow them real quick but truly is that like a messed up thing that is for a different episode that is for a different I know. state of mind but i see look there's no there's no group that even covers like highly plants. highly offensive but there's a so movie that covers that it says hey the plant's gonna yes, fight back i love the happening it's <laughs> the bizarre. plant's gonna fight back it's they said hey film. it's like you guys don't the care about us mark, yeah. they said we got you we got you guys you don't care yeah. about us we got you you don't even like the film i that film was not i would not have done it that way okay then that that's all but you know my statement still stands it's a question that we I want will people think, think about, about that and it's and definitely something to ponder though because i know it's easy to we're we're too selfish to think like we're like yeah we're I so supreme what you're saying, and we're so special but I how just why think that it's kind of like why are, why are humans more special than plants from your perspective as a black male i think it's widely appropriate <laughs> why yeah but why is a why is a human more important than a plant that's all i'm saying I don't necessarily know if a human is more important. Why am I than worth a more? Why is a human worth more? I don't more think than I don't think we're more. Why should we be treated more, better? But I think that we should it be treated seems better. insensitive to argue that the death of a person is not more significant than the death of a plant. See, it that, just seems that's insane. Seems what you're saying? Insensitive, though. It seems insensitive. It's only insensitive to a human because the plant would say it's insensitive, right? From the human perspective, it seems very insensitive. Because imagine the plant. Especially contextually being who we are. Because, you know, imagine the plants. Yes, from the plant's perspective. They're witnessing us destroying their kind off and they're like, oh, we can't even do anything. We're just like, just going through this crap. Understood, but it just seems contextually challenging, especially in the times that we live in. It's, yeah, I know people don't, people are just so selfish. They can't think out of body. I understand what you're saying, but it's just, it's. 
I think that that that's I don't know if I'm ready to tackle that right now. Yeah, I understand. Uh, so yeah, I'm it's it's to, a it's a whole other and world. And as there. a mother, it's like I do not want my child to be equated to a sunflower. Like I, <laughs> I love love sunflowers. It's my favorite flower. If you ever want to give me a flower, give me sunflowers. I will have them all day long. But is my son the equivalent of a sunflower? I argue no. <laughs> Maybe like like whole wheat or something. I'm not. I'm. I'm like not. A, a, I'm like not emotionally ready to have that conversation. All right, thirty acres of whole wheat is equal to a human. I'm not I'm, saying I'm you're not, a human. I'm not emotionally ready. There. But we can't even because yeah, we can't even say how many plants does it take to equal a human. It sounds like a really bad bar joke. <laughs> it's like how many people does yeah, it take see, to screw the light bulb? Up. Like, see, people don't want to think like that. They're like, a human is supreme to every plant. Well, it's I think like, that, all right, that's not crazy. necessarily. I think that, that to be that's honest, nuts. it might just be like like how they say like apples and oranges. Maybe there's it's not a comparison per se. It's just we exist in different. We come in different forms in this world, right? Because for all and we you know, can mistreat plants as much as you want. Who cares? As long as humans are happy. No, that's, that's, what it's that's not what I'm suggesting. What I'm saying is, A, I'm not addressing the statement oh, because okay. I'm not emotionally ready for that. All right, and then yeah, B, what I'm saying is I think that we just have to broaden our perspective of, you know, not everything needs to be in a comparison or like a who's more important or what's more important. I think that that's a very human concept, but maybe you don't apply that human. when you're talking about non like because you're talking you're comparing two different species right? yeah, but Plants i'm not, I'm not human beings i'm so. not talking about something on alpha centauri i'm talking about stuff on planet earth <laughs> like i'm talking about like stuff said, that we can treat well for a whole other type of conversation to be had so. but because but, it, it, it'd be different i'm talking about some species if we you're never arguing met. that we are the same as a sunflower then that's good for you but uh, all uh, i'm arguing I'm is i'm not i'm not I'm making arguing, a decision yet the, the, my argument is what's the most important species on earth and should all species be treated equally and I know people, that's a hard one. It's like, of course, most people aren't going to say the truth, but truthfully, humans are going to be treated the supremely yes, way. Yes, of course. And that's <laughs> obvious. But is it right or wrong? And then everybody, everything else right falls. Everything else is, goes below the human, but humans come first. Is yes, like, I would say in our and, society. But, yes. and, but what I would say is funny. Technically, humans come first in the mind. But if we actually go and look into the social norms, that is not always true. Of course. Of yeah. course. Of course. Tech, I mean, sometimes dogs come before humans that have done wrong kind of thing. Next I mean, it, on yeah, the article it's, it's is much, mentioned yeah. uh, is to take a time out. And so the article suggests maybe spending at least 20 minutes a day in a quiet space that allows you to express your inner voice. You have had a lot of out, outer voice expression. Oh, you I might have. need I more inner. inner voice contemplation. Uh, and, and so I definitely agree with that. And then, of course, next suggestion is, uh, you know, nature's cure, which is to take time out and to lower your hormones and reduce blood pressure by taking a walk in the woods. I'm not sure why that was the reference point. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm very afraid right now. This does not sound good. To talk about a bar joke. That's scary. Uh, but I think the point is to kind of get some fresh air. I know that personally moving out from New York to Arizona, one of the most favorite things I have, it's very challenging, especially in the hot summer, but is to take a nice walk out and you know, try not necessarily in the, when the sun is highest in the sky, uh, but to definitely get some time out and enjoy that vitamin D from the sun, as well as, you know, see the beautiful flowers and the uh, really scary dragonflies and also the terrifying bees and, uh, you know, get you get a little pep in your step when you're outside. Another suggestion is to move it, which is to kind of get some moderate exercise and definitely be consistent with it. I would say say uh after having a baby i i totally agree with that like it it was really hard to not be able to exercise and uh since being able to exercise and feeling up for it has made the role of a difference mentally and physically uh the article even goes on to suggesting yoga i don't know how i feel about that because as you know i that's been a really challenging point for me i find it can be too relaxing <laughs> and <laughs> so i really commend people who are able to do it but i find that i personally oh, no. <laughs> because i oh. just i I've struggled in that department for a while that that is not my own personal recommendation, but I appreciate people who give that recommendation and can adhere to it. Uh, they, the article goes on to suggesting helping others as well. And I love that uh, as a person who loves like servant leadership, I think, you know, for me, I always feel better when I can pour my energy and my heart into helping others, whether it's through the body of my work, whether it's through this podcast, 
podcast, whether it's through coaching, whether it's through mentorship or just, you know, kind of community service, things like that. So love, love, love that. And then this also suggests magic words, meaning nurturing your personal relationships is good for your health. I thought that's really That's cool. magic. All right. Yeah, magic words. Nice. So may, so making sure that you say thank you and I love you and I'm sorry. I love that. I'm sorry. That needs to be said that, by a lot of people. I mean, I don't say the sorry, but I say the first two parts all the time. That's to all I'm KJ, about. KJ, I know. Yep. Not, I mean, I, that's, <laughs> that's the only kind of words I've learned to speak. It's to weird. KJ, I know. Wonderful. So the strange. words you're speaking is thank you and I love you right now? <laughs> yeah. It's in a different language, though. I speak uh, in ancient tongues, so that's a difference with me. You need help. <laughs> 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 is oh. glass half full which is uh you know studies found that having a positive attitude can help also manage your stress and that can lead to many health benefits including better health heart uh, lower rates of depression and improved coping skills so definitely you know your mind like Khalil mentioned we have a, co- a course on listenable which is a wonderful platform uh, and it's really a when- wonderful way for you to be able to get some audio content from us specifically around the law of attraction so definitely check out our course link that's going to be in the episode on wokenfree.com the words you speak matter the words that you think matter your life is a reflection of your mind so if you don't get your mind right you life ain't gonna be right so there you go all right there's a lot of there's a lot of lot of tips heads around there. again yeah. hopefully they can rewind know, rewind you got the you have the tools this is the day we live <laughs> they have technology just rewind it i do that with things i gotta repeat it and get it in my mind if i'm not reading the book yeah i'm definitely gonna rewind it the audio book and yep. get that in my head here we go yo here we go yo so what's 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 the scenario it's scenario time guys Scenario one, Tyran has been internet searching how to cure an ailment that has plagued him for a long time. He found a website that claims to cure all terminal illnesses, but it requires a one-time payment of two ninety nine U.S. dollars. Should he pay for the fee, knowing that he will soon be cured of all diseases? Are you joking? It's a great question, because you know this comes up all the time. And are they also going to give him magic beads? <laughs> For, with no, free but even, shipping. even better, they give you like all these books, and they give you ebooks. They give you like a couple of free tidbits. All for that one two ninety nine payment. Right? It's 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 like a deal when you think about it. Because what you get like ten, Hello. you get ten books, you get three ebooks, you get like a, mm-hmm. a pamphlet that says how you can share it with your friends, and they can pay for the same amount, and you can get half off if you mm-hmm. get ten friends to join in. So that that's the thing. You got to like really take this into account and say, should I buy this? It's not you, you, for you, it may be an easy answer, but some people see this and they say, just think about it. All I'm paying is $2.99 for eternal health. I mean, to me, just, all right, don't take everything that you know out. Don't think about that, but literally think if someone said you pay $2.99, you have eternal health. What would you say to that? Do you also have a bridge to sell me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'll also, I'll sell. Should I buy sand at the beach? Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. sell you tornado insurance and everything. It's yeah. good. See? Okay. Exactly. So I, listen, I understand wanting to find hope, even in the most desperate of situations and where even when everyone tells you there's no hope to have that you still at the end of the day, always have to have hope. You should never give up on yourself, on your dreams, on your life, on, in your health, in anything you want in this world. Right. Because, uh, it's just, it's a, it's a, part of the fuel for your own personal engine so you got to keep it moving but unfortunately there is a phrase that says something's like too good to be true and <laughs> <laughs> that's messed up to say and to be that's honest if you could find eternal health for two ninety nine, i would imagine Let's hear that that eternal health does not exist or wow. that it would be two trillion dollars and nine hundred and ninety nine million. So like it, it would be okay. a lot. It would be very expensive, right. and it would not be available via the internet. It would. Be- <laughs> <laughs> but everything's on the internet. Are you kidding me? Not everything. Oh, okay. It would require that you see several doctors. It would require that you probably have to travel. It would be more than putting in your visa or MasterCard. But you might, they may have a like weekend course where you do have to travel and go and see what's going on and they pay for that. Or the, I don't know if they pay for that. You might have to pay a little bit more. When you speak this, you know what comes to mind that scene in, in Bird Box where the man turns to the girl and says, are you feeble minded? 
Or are you a simpleton? That's what he's like. <laughs> no, I like your change phrase. <laughs> no, I like your new phrase. I like your new one. The new one's good because that works. Uh, Say that to somebody. Exactly. When they ask you this, exactly. Ask them that. See what they say to you. So tell them that. Exactly. Because people will ask you, that. what do you think? That's what you're going to say to them? See? Exactly. So, the answer to your question is no, it is not available for $2.99 on the internet. And that he cannot be cured of all diseases. And that he needs to keep on searching and don't pay this. professionals. So you literally tell him, don't pay this fee to get those. Correct. Because e- you know you can get like three ebooks and ten. And he can physical- go to the library and pick up 30 books. But what if they give you like ten? What, oh, what if, you know what? If What's your answer cover, to your question? What's the answer to the question? Are, are they ten hard book though? What would you say if they were, the books were hardcover? Would you think a little different? Because no. how many books are hardcover that we know about? They're all paperback. You know, like what they're trying. The answer is no. What is your answer? Oh, so answer? your answer is no for this. Wow. All right. That that's very Hard interesting. Pass. Just for two ninety nine, that's Correct. it. U S dollars two ninety nine. Yes. Hard pass. Wow, that's. I mean, it, and you know, this two ninety nine was probably half off. Possibly, we don't I know. I bet it was. <laughs> it was half off. <laughs> usual. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You know, like, people love to do good deals, right? Man, Are good. you feeble minded? <laughs> <laughs> You're being messed up. That's so unfair of you to say because people love good deals. People use coupons. What if they got a coupon from someone? I've had a C section. Can you please what stop get, killing me? They might be getting right cash now? back on this. I don't know what's going on here. Let me. All right. But Answer the scenario not, question. The, the, the question is, though, should he pay for the fee, though? Knowing that he'll soon be cured of all diseases. So that's the key thing. Like the book things is like, well, you know, there's worse ways to spend your money, right? You can go to the casino and you can throw out your 300 bucks too, right? (laughs) You could, yeah, you could bet it all on black and you can double it. You can go and find, you know, willing workers in the street and give them that money as well. I would not suggest, I mean, I'm not suggesting that. I'm just saying there are ways that you can spend your money. Yeah, because you could double your money with betting it. You know, have wonderful women who. I don't why know would what you do any escorts, of that? Um, yeah, but why would you do any of that if you could double your money and get double the escorts? Excellent suggestion. <laughs> I'm just saying that that wouldn't make any sense. You got or you can triple it. I hope you're not speaking from personal experience. No, I'm. I, I would not know how to speak of that. That's I can't yeah. even understand that. That blows because my mind only, out of the world. Yeah, because you only say my mind can't even think of that. Thank you, and way. I love you. Correct. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, I speak in different tongues. I'm not from this generation. You I'm an old timer. Problems. I know. Guys. I'm an old timer. I don't know about the youngsters. I don't do all the stuff that you kids do. Yeah. You youngins. I don't know what you guys do. I don't. I'm not about that life. Answer the question. But. All I'll say is that if someone's telling you they can cure diseases for 300 bucks, I would say, can I go to Vegas and get cured like double the times because I can double the money and get more of the cures? That's what I would ask because why is it only $300? Why isn't, like you were saying, you said a trillion. That doesn't make any sense. In my mind, if you want to be cured of all diseases, the most that you can pay for that is 50 grand. That's, you can't pay more than that. That That's a ripoff then. And so that that's what I would say. Like, I and three hundred dollars is kind of like that's too cheap. Like, is this an eBay curing thing? I don't. It doesn't make any sense. Correct. Like, who's giving? It, like, three hundred bucks is not going to cure diseases. But technically, if you you know, there are ways to kind of get to better health. I'm not going to say it cures diseases, but people have claimed to do it, mm-hmm. but not for three hundred dollars. If if someone's offering that, then mm-hmm. you know that's that's probably not going to work out. Okay. Scenario two. Guao was undergoing extensive treatment at a hospital. He did not disclose what the treatment was for, but was not exhibiting signs of recovery. He spoke to a holistic provider and was suggested supplements to try. After trying the supplements, he began to feel better in life. Should he chalk up the feeling to taking the holistic medicine and advise and advice of a random person? So, hmm... Again, this is that mindset thing, right? So, like, if you think you're feeling better and you actually happen to start to feel better, is that, like, proof that whatever you tried worked? I mean, I guess it depends on how you define as, like, working, right? So, if your perception is a direct cause, like, has a direct link to your existence, which I believe it does, then yes, uh, and then you know, taking the advice and then the actual outcome of him feeling better worked. So yay. I mean, that's such a hard question, but what do you think? I don't know. No, oh, I mean, this is easy to me. It's like, again, I was saying, if, if you think something's going to make you feel better, it will, but uh-huh. to me, that holistic medicine did nothing. You just needed to think about feeling better because 
That thing's not See, doing anything I, more I than what you could do in modern though, medicine. Though. Like to just How's say that it outright, no, to deny the actual effectiveness. Like you're in yeah, your I mind, you're so. saying it's totally a yeah, not. Yeah, I think, and I'm think it's not, just I'm whatever. Not there then. I, I think he yeah. could. I, I think it was basically like this person could have drank the water and said, "Oh man, I'm feeling great," and he would have felt great. Or he could have taken these all these special herbs. You got to take them at midnight. Yeah. You got to take one at five a.m., three a.m. And like mix them and match them, and then he feels better. That's fake. He could have just drank the water, felt he was gonna feel better, and he would have felt better. I don't think the holistic medicine matter. Okay. That that that's what I just think. I think it's a mind game because okay. the the problem with holistic medicine is there's not like enough research on it. And I'm just a person like if it's not repeatable, then who cares? Then it's just that's just up to you manifesting it. And if it's up to you manifesting it, yeah, I, I don't it, take that perspective. I, I, I know, that yeah, you don't believe if it, in that. If it works for one person, if mani- even if it can't be re- recreated for someone else, it worked for that one person, and it, and that's great, and that's all that matters, right? It doesn't but, matter. But if all it's that's fine. Repeatable. It, but it but that does doesn't work. It worked for that one person. It, yeah, but it, but you're not. But the problem is, is great. It, what worked? You're saying it worked. It did not work. Well, the, they manifested the being better. So who cares better, about yeah. holistic medicine? Who cares about anything? But it doesn't mean they just got better. It doesn't mean anything. Wasn't needed like that. Those supplements weren't needed for that manifestation. So I don't think. In turn, did. could it have could it have played a role? Like, was it no. the direct cause of the healing? Right. If it part, if it played a role in the direct cause of the healing, then it did actually have effect. So. Well, I don't think it had any effect. Mm-hmm. I think that was just the manifestation of people making okay. it. But just getting the like people are treating themselves is what I think, and those yeah. medicines aren't doing anything. Okay. That, that's just my opinion. Scenario three. Nichelle was told by her herbalist that she could take a couple of supplements and live a long, healthy life. Should she take out a loan to pay for these supplements or just live her life as she chooses? That's a really abbreviated question. So, <laughs> question, it's a scenario. Loan. Wait, why is there a loan for this? It, they cost that much? Yeah, it's not. It's This oh. is real stuff. This We're talking about that, oh, okay. that real stuff in life where... And but then, but the problem why I say it's a review is because I don't know her financial standing. Like, is this someone? Can she afford the loan? Is this like you know, some people say finances don't matter when it comes to health? You want to health comes number one. Oh right? yeah, I mean health as well. If you have no health, you can't do anything. So I definitely yeah. Agree so with if you that. found a way to be really healthy and but it again, costs a lot. is it? But are is it a situation where is this loan not going to guarantee? Because you can't guarantee anything in life, really. But. Uh, you know, is there a high propensity that by taking out this loan, she's now going to be able to extend her life and live a life to, you know, 110 and, and have minimal sickness and it's going to be worth the $1 million investment at the end of the game? Or is it similar to that other scenario of the 299 situation where it's 299 a month and it's like, she's going to get these like, you know, pink unicorn pills and there's going to be, like, literally nothing happening <laughs> other than, you know, pink poop doo-doo. I mean, you know, like, I mean, <laughs> what do you like... Say? No, but th- that's you're saying that, but she she got this advice from her psychic, so it's like, should she oh, listen? Jesus Christ. Or should she go and just say no? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? People take a, these advice of seriously. Course. We've had a medium on the show. No, but it's just like, oh Jesus! I mean, <laughs> no, you can't say that. It's come on. It's from a professional. Of course, uh, but but what? Uh, there's no buts here. Should should you again be, because I be don't, financially because I don't, irresponsible for your health? That's kind of what the question is. It's not, well, it's again, it's not irresponsible if she can afford really? the loan. Then you you haven't you haven't provided enough information to suggest whether this loan is going to put her into hawk or if this is something that's doable for her budget. Is it a part of her discretionary money? Everyone has discretion. Typically, most people have discretionary well, you can money it all every both month. Ways, then. If, so if, if it is, if, if it, it was. is, and she feels this is a good investment in her discretionary money, and it's not going to financially impact her in a way that prevents other opportunities and and enhancement in her life then she should do with it as she can because she can afford it if this is a scenario where she cannot afford it and she's now taking a risk due to the kind of intense desire to live a well life then i would say no because what i have found is that financial wellness is sometimes even more important than physical wellness um, sometimes because (laughs) The end of the day, you wow. know, if you can't afford to pay for your wellness, that and then you're now in a situation where you can't afford things in your life, then are you now? Because I don't want her to take out this loan and now she's homeless because it's no. like you're gonna live 110 in the streets. Like, what's the point of that? Like, no, she can be a greeter. She can do stuff. Don't even, Khalil. I didn't say where. I just don't say what even. she can do. She don't can do different even. stuff. 
She can get, she can do, she can sell on like those curating sites. She can do different stuff. She can, oh, guess what? Because no, these people did it during the pandemic. Some people did research on what's going to be the hot product. They paid to these websites and then they found what's the hot product and they mm-hmm. sold that on a big uh, retailer Hunch. that will yeah. say, no, I'm, no, I'm saying they sold on oh, a big okay. website okay. and they made hundreds of thousands of dollars during a pandemic. So this person can still can make money and pay for the help. But yeah, but the really problem is we're talking about just someone who's taking out a loan. They're not also doing that, right? Like if this oh, scenario doing this was, research and saying yeah, well, like, it's going to be the big selling If they were going to find this like lucrative financial opportunity. Yeah, because they can do both though. But yeah, so if, yeah, if this, if she's in a situation where, yeah, like we're not talking about putting, like I said, as long as you're not going to try to put yourself homeless and live forever. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's good though. You can live really, it up. Like outrageous. You know, you like, I'm just like, what? Like, what? A vampire on the street? Yeah, that's cool. you know what I mean? Like, it's like, don't live a thousand years on Skid Row, right? Like, that's not See, making sense. you're being so messed like, up to not, think like that, though. That's not making sense. So, that's funny, though. All right. But if if she's if she can afford it, then have at it and have your wow. unicorn pills. Yeah. Wow. So only if she can afford it, then yes. do it. But otherwise, don't. Wow, I didn't even think of it like that. Well, which, which direction are you going? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, my direction hasn't changed for most of these scenarios. Is like to me, she like she listening to her psychic. I mean, like let's go. That's yes. what I said. It's uh, good. Listen to your psychic. Good, but, but don't pay the money. Make the psychic pay the money because it's gonna work out for both don't of us. Say that. Don't say that. Okay. I mean, they don't have to. But either way, this is crazy to me. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna take out a loan for this supplements. Are you? I mean, are you? What's the guarantee? What, That's okay, nuts. well, so what? What? what that if is you, insane there, are no to me. there are no guarantees. In I know that is insane and then what if to you, me. Well, what if you took those supplements and it worked, and then it helped you also cognitively, and you came up with some great business idea and made a million bucks, right? Like, so yeah, I mean, it could do that, yeah. but I would say whoever recommended to me, how let's both go in. We'll we'll both pay for it, right? And I'll give you. Whatever. So you both she, take uh, the unicorn pills in here. <laughs> no, I only get the pills. You just help pay for it because whatever benefits I get, I'll put that back on you. So you'll get like fringe benefits from me. So it's kind of like you kept my health good, so I was able to do good in my so life give, and help you'll you. You'll give out. this person a five dollar you know, tip or something at dinner. I mean, or you'll pay for their lunches, their yeah, ham and I'll, cheese I'll get, the, I'll get the mistake every fifty years or something. Every you know? fifty years. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I hope this uh, medium is a vampire <laughs> themselves, <laughs> so that they can get quite a bit of steak out of you. Yeah, they can get that yeah. or asparagus. I mean, whatever they want. How lovely for them. Maybe the asparagus. Let's. All right, yes. And every twenty five, they years. might not have that dead flesh that you. Yeah, every twenty five yeah. years, I'll give them asparagus. Because I said you gave me these pills, you made me take out a big loan. You wanted me to waste my money. I'm living longer, but at least you get asparagus. You're trifling. That's what I would do because this is insane. Why am I taking out a loan for supplements? I mean, is this this is not like supplement world? What what's going on here? Uh, like th- that's this to me is insane. I would like I can't even I can't fathom even doing that. It's 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 really Good to insane know, to since me. You wrote the question. <laughs> <laughs> Really? This is my question? You don't think this is a universal question that just came out of the ether? We are at that <laughs> time again. Hey, hey, we're at that time again. Coming to the end of our 208th episode of Woke, Woke and, and Free. free. Mm-mm-mm. Quite the episode discussing, is holistic medicine effective? What do they need to do now, Khalil? This is what they should do, and they already know to do, is to come back next week for the new Woken Free Wednesday episode, and make sure you follow us on social media to follow along in the conversation. Make sure you tune in next week for Woken Free Wednesday to join the conversation at WokenFree.com. If you'd like to be a guest on the show, make sure you go to our Contact Us page to submit your story and share why you should be a future guest on the show. Now, where do you go? WokenFree.com, our Contact Us page. W-O-K-E-N-F-R-E-E dot com, guys. So make sure you go there. Now, for social media, always feel free to hit us up and say hello on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, Pinterest, LinkedIn, at Woken Free. And then all sponsorships and collaborations, again, same place. Contact us page at WokenFree.com. If you didn't already subscribe, please do share the episode and make sure you come back to join the conversation every Wednesday for Woken Free Wednesdays. Remember, Woken Free is more than a podcast. It is the way of life. Until next time.